there is hope. The pain and suffering you're going through is it's only temporary. I became a Christian in 2016. I was living in California, and the best way I can describe it is I was the prodigal child. I lived a social lifestyle where uh, in California it was it was a thing to do. I was by myself, and the way I made friends was going out to the breweries and just meeting meeting people there and just drinking. And even at the time, I thought it was just a social thing, but at the same time, I think it just kind of also numbed me and blinded me um, to the way that I was living. I think in that reckless lifestyle, I was just so blinded by my sin. So I was living in complete isolation, and I also just carried so much guilt and shame that I didn't want anyone to know about it. So anytime that I was going through suffering, I did it alone. I honestly don't think I was seeking anything other than people pleasing. I felt that by pleasing others or living for others and not thinking about myself, but then receiving value from other people is what, yeah, just gave me value, gave me an identity, even though I know it was wrong, uh, but at the same time, I just carried that guilt and shame that I didn't want to share and open up to anyone about what I was going through. I thought that I needed to carry my burdens alone. It wasn't until someone knew what I was going through and they just saw a lot of pain and a lot of despair. And it wasn't until he had a heart to invite me to his church in, in California. The service that was taught was about um, pain and suffering. And the words that I think convicted me was, um, it was Romans 8.18. The pain and the glory of the present time cannot be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. And it was in that moment um, that I finally had hope. There is hope. The pain and suffering you're going through is it's only temporary. It may feel like it's been for so long. It may feel like you're never gonna get out of it. But there's hope in Jesus Christ. He loves you so much. He loves you so much and He is patiently waiting for you. He just, there's so much mercy and there's so much grace even if you don't have it for yourself. He is full of it. Thank you.